Parasitic diseases like malaria, loa loa, and river blindness affect billions of people every year. In 2015, 3.2 billion people were at risk of malaria alone. That's half the world's population. In order to save lives, quick diagnosis and treatment is crucial, but that's not always possible for those most affected by these diseases in the developing world. But that could all change thanks to a modified piece of tech that we already know and love. We build microscopes that are based around a cell phone. That's Matt Bacalar, a bioengineering PhD student at the University of California, Berkeley. He's part of a project team that's been working on the Cellscope LOA, an optical device that converts a cell phone's camera into an inexpensive handheld microscope. So the way this works is you slide the phone into the holder here, and then we run a app, just like you would if you were loading up Facebook or Gmail. The operator would take somebody's finger, um, prick their finger, and then load a small volume of blood directly into this glass capillary. Um, then all you do is you insert this into the side of the device and you can begin a test. And what we'll see on the screen is a magnified image um, of the blood. And when everything looks good, we just press go and the test will begin. During the test, the device captures five second video clips as it moves across the magnified sample. Cellscope software then scans each clip for irregular movement caused by parasites in the blood. Unlike traditional microscopic analysis, which can take days or even weeks, the Cellscope test takes just 30 seconds, meaning that if the software detects a parasite, the patient can be diagnosed and given treatment almost immediately. This is really amazing. Yeah, this, can... is, this is a cell phone that so many people have yep. that can diagnose you for Loa Loa or a number of other different diseases, is that correct? Yep, so this device itself only diagnoses for Loa Loa. Uh, but it's, it's devices that look very, very similar to this that can work on other diseases as well. Anything that you can see with a microscope, you can see with this. The team is betting this technology will be a game changer in places where visiting a hospital can be difficult, expensive, and time consuming. Do you have to have somebody, a trained pathologist, look at the results of the on the phone to determine what's going on, or can the average person yep find out if they have, say, TB or malaria. Right, so that's the great thing about the device. Um, so we've taken you know, a job that was typically done by a trained pathologist, and we do that instead with software. I met with Professor Dan Fletcher, who explained how Cellscope was born from a project he set in his optics class several years ago. The challenge to the students was, can you convert this mobile phone camera into something that takes a picture of a blood sample. The trick was you couldn't change what was in the phone. How about that one, huh? When the students first started, they were innovating using cell phones with limited optics and software capabilities. But in a short span of time, and thanks in large part to consumers demanding better cameras and faster processors, cell phones have gotten a lot smarter. The development both of the hardware and of the entire infrastructure that allows us to run great software on the devices has, has enabled our, our prototypes to go from, from, from really rudimentary microscopes all the way to integrated medical diagnostics, which we've used to treat tens of thousands of people in Cameroon. And the team has been fortunate enough to see firsthand the impact the Cellscope has had in Cameroon, where for many, the cost of seeing a doctor in a hospital is simply out of reach. Um, so I was very nervous in the beginning. Um, and then, you know, you start to see the first few patients running through, getting their results, and really smiling and being happy about it. I think the fact that they were included in the diagnosis really makes a difference. So rather than taking some blood and sending it off to a lab, you really feel like you're there you know, doing something that's worthwhile, spending your time uh, making a difference. So it's great to see you know, a, a piece of technology that you've engineered perform in the field, but this is different than you know, what we would normally do in science. Here, we're actually interacting with people who are directly um, benefited from this technology. Um, so a lot of people um, these days carry around these mobile devices and, and it's not really in the front of your mind how powerful this device is. After learning how many lives the Cellscope has already managed to improve, it's mind-blowing to think how many other life-changing innovations could be developed around a piece of technology that so many of us take for granted. William Tarpe is another scientist at Berkeley who's created a groundbreaking innovation. Watch this D News episode to learn about how he's turning pee into fertilizer to help feed the world. 
We want to take a moment to thank our partner, the Blum Center for Developing Economies at the University of California, Berkeley, an innovation and research hub that's tackling issues in global poverty. Make sure to check out some of their incredible work by visiting blumcenter.berkeley.edu. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to Seeker Stories.